Okay guys, this is gonna be part three of the battery install. I'm gonna be in a little bit more detail. I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail. I'm gonna show you the under the hood and I'm gonna show you the fuse box that I ran the ACC or the accessory switch into in order to turn it on. When you turn the key, it's actually gonna turn on the isolator to allow electricity to flow straight to the second battery. And I'm gonna show you where I hooked up the ground on my block. I'm gonna show you how I did that. All right, here we are looking at my truck and I just got through taking off the cover the cover off of here it was pretty simple to take the cover off to do is you actually have two tabs pull up on these tabs pull this direction towards the battery on both tabs it's gonna be a tab on each side this just happens to be in my way but I'm gonna move that soon and I what I did was I actually just ran the cord right here over that now it kind of crimps the cord a little bit but nothing really bad but it does crimp it a little bit so I crimped the cord a little I ran it over and I plugged it into the second one here. I don't remember what that is, but I plugged it into the second one and I put on it a 20 amp fuse. This is an Ada fuse. And I'll put the link in the description. And again, it just kind of crimps over it. Now what you could do is you could actually uh, grind this down or file this down, but I didn't actually want to change that. so. I can always solder a new line on there. I soldered it and put a little shrink wrap on it. And this goes to the bottom, which is going to be the power. Let's see if I can get in here. It's going to be the power, and I marked it with the red, which is this right here, right? And then the other one is just going to be ground. I marked it with black. The ground, I ran it to the actual battery ground, which is going to be right here. This happens to be the battery ground. And then of course the positive one i ran it here so it can get power whenever i turn the ignition on again that's the actual second fuse right next to this big relay put a 20 amp on there now as far as grounding the battery i wasn't real specific about how i did it i grounded the battery to the block most blocks are going to have a threaded input on the heads usually on both sides and then in the back the reason why they do that is so when you wanted to lift this engine out with an engine hoist, you can easily lift it out. Just screw your, your bolts into there, go in deep enough, hook up your chain, lift your engine out after everything's disconnected. Um, what I did was I have a whole bunch of different bolts in my house here, in my garage. I just tried several different bolts until I can find one that fits without forcing it in there. Again, this is an aluminum head. You don't want to force it in there because you're going to create new... new um, threads and um, it's going to not be created very well because it's not really cutting it, it's just forcing it. So what you want to do is you want to use the correct bolt. I used the correct bolt and I grounded it and it's right there. Ground it right there. So it's that simple. And what I did was I actually created a few of my own lines. Some of the actual cables that go from one side of the vehicle to the other side of the vehicle I created. I bought a crimper. I actually crimped my own stuff. I put heat shrink on them. A couple of them I already purchased. The black one that you see going to the actual head on the vehicle, I purchased. And then the red one going to the battery that's clamped onto the battery, I purchased. But the other ones that I actually created myself. It makes it a little easier when you want to do customization like that. But remember, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them down below. And as always, remember, if I can save you a few bucks, I will save you a few bucks.